Before we apply makeup, we have to start with skin prep. It's very important to establish a good skincare routine for a school if you want your makeup to look smooth and last all day. It doesn't have to be complicated, maybe just four products, a cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and sunscreen. So I already washed my face with the Round Lab Dokdo cleanser. It's a foaming gentle cleanser. And then next, I'm going to go in with toner pads. You could also just use your favorite toner and just regular con pads. I got these from Daiso, these square ones. Take one of the pads. This will just help gently exfoliate the skin and allow the rest of my skincare to absorb into my skin better. And if you have a little bit more time in the morning, you can just leave it on your skin for like 5 to 10 minutes. The hotter your skin temperature is, the more difficult it is for your makeup to last and blend well into your skin. This will help calm down any redness and lower your skin temperature. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. This is a lightweight moisturizer from Vanacream. You have to moisturize your skin even even if you have extremely oily skin, massage it upwards. You want to make sure that you get that worked into your skin. And the last step for skin prep is sunscreen. Always wear sunscreen to protect your skin throughout the day. I love this one by Round Lab. It's the Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen. I find that my makeup grips better onto my skin as well. Okay, now for the most important step, you're gonna need to let your skincare sink into your skin for at least 5 to 10 minutes before applying makeup, just so your makeup won't mix weirdly with your skincare and it won't slide around. Okay, on to makeup. I have my little makeup pouch here. All these products are affordable, so especially if you're a college student, you don't want to buy high-end makeup if you're gonna use it every day. We just can't afford it, you know? First, I'm gonna start off with some lip balm. I really like it because it's lightweight, but it moisturizes my lips so well. You're gonna need a primer to ensure that your makeup will last through school air. I have two options here. I love this one by e.l.f. It's the Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide, but if you have really oily skin and have large pores, I recommend the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, but for me, I'm gonna use the Power Grip Primer. And then a little trick I like to do to really make my makeup last throughout the day is that I like to take my setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Mist. Now I'm going to go on to concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. I used it all the time in high school. Going to spot conceal. I'm going to let it kind of dry down on my face for like a minute or so just so I can build it up to a more medium to full coverage. This is the Juno & Co sponge. I love this sponge because it doesn't absorb any product and it just leaves me with this airbrushed flawless finish. I'm going to spray my sponge with my setting spray. Take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. Take a little bit on my sponge and then I'm just going to blend out the concealer. Next, I'm going to use the Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade 148, and I'm going to use this on the perimeter of my face. I'm blending upwards. Next, I'm going to use the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. And you don't want to apply it to your face straight away because it's really, really pigmented. So I like to kind of sheer it out on the back of my hand and to also evenly distribute it on the brush. Bring it on my eyelids as well as like an eyeshadow. And take whatever's left on here for the other side. Before I set my face with powder, I'm going to go back in with my setting spray. This will help hydrate the skin and increase the longevity of your makeup. Make sure to let it dry before setting it with powder. For powder, I'm going to use the Etude Zero Sebum Loose Setting Powder. Blend out any creases under my eyes first. As you can see, my face looks very smooth thanks to the skin prep. I like how this powder is really small, so it's perfect to keep with you in your bag for touch-ups throughout the day. For eyebrows, you want something that's really quick and easy to use, so I recommend a tinted brow gel by e.l.f. It's the Wow Brow Gel. It has little fibers in it, so it'll make your brows look a lot fuller. I'm going to brush through my brows as normal, kind of brushing it diagonally outwards. And then for the places where I want to fill it in more, I take the tip of the spoolie, and then I just run that through the places where I want to shape the brow more or any sparse areas. See the difference? 
That's all we're doing for the brows. I'm gonna lightly set my eyelids with a little bit of powder because my eyelids get oily. I'm not gonna do too much for the eye makeup because I still want to keep it pretty natural and easy to do. So I'm gonna take this contour palette by Essence and I'm gonna take this darker shade. Start right here at the end of my eye and kind of extend it outwards just to emphasize the natural shadow. As you can see. I'm also going to take this on the outer half of my eye, like in this triangle shape, and kind of connect it to that line. This part is optional, but I like to emphasize my eye smile or aegyoza. Just shade that area. I feel like when I do this, my eyes look a lot bigger. If you're a beginner in eyeshadow but don't really like the look of eyeshadow, contouring your eyes is another good option, especially for school because it looks pretty natural. I'm gonna heat up my eyelash curler with a lighter. I find that when I do this, my lashes hold the curl better. Also make sure to wipe it and test it to make sure that it's not too hot. And start at the base of the lash and then slowly clamping it as I go up. This will give you that really natural C curl instead of just straight up. So you could just leave the eye makeup like this and just apply mascara, but if you want to add a little bit of eyeliner, I recommend using a gel pencil eyeliner. This is the one by L'Oreal. I recommend a dark brown eyeliner for a more everyday look. Tight line, the upper waterline, and you can stop here, but if you want to draw a little wing, just follow the shadow that we just made, and then just kind of flick it outwards. Use my nail to clean up the wing as well. For everyday looks like this, it's really hard for me to not go too overboard with my eyeliner and not make it too long. <laughs> and for mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High mascara and I got it in waterproof because waterproof mascaras are the only mascaras that will keep my lashes up all day. I also got this in the shade brownish black for a more toned down look. This part is optional, but I'm going to contour my nose because the powder kind of made it look really flat. So I'm going to go in with my Essence Contour Dual Palette again. I'm going to mix these two together. Follow the natural shadow of my nose. Connect it to my eyes as well to make it seamless. Take some of the contour again. Kind of shade around my lips make them look fuller. We're almost done with the face, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Frosting. It's this champagne gold shade. Put this on my nose, making sure to blend it out. And then my inner corners just to make me look more awake. My brow bone. I'll put some on my cupid's bow. You can also use brow tint pens to kind of help disguise any pimples and make them into beauty marks. It's very close with setting spray just to lock everything in. And then finally for the lips, I'm first going to blot off the lip balm. If you have any dead skin on your lips, I recommend damping a washcloth with like warm hot water and then just lightly scrub your lips to exfoliate it. Ready for lip makeup. So I actually have like three <laughs> lip combos depending on your personal preference. I'm first gonna start off with like the easiest. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is my exact lip shade. You could just use this as like a lip liner all over your lips. I kind of like to overline my cupid's bow a bit and then tap it out to kind of blur out the edges. It gives you that really pretty blurred out plotted lip look. It's like my lips but better. But if you want more of like a lip combo and something that's a little bit more glossy, I have these two by Milani. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice and the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil in Cherry Lime. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. Yeah, this one is a bit more intense, but if you want to look a little extra cute that day, it's another good combo. If you want a more natural one, there's more shades of this. That's this lip combo. For my last option, I have a lip tint here. Conceal my outer lip line. 
And then I'm going to take the Romed Juicy Lasting Tint in 22 Pamela Skin. This is my go-to lip tint for school. I use this every day. It's like a pinky nude. I like to scrape a little bit off and then go all over my lip, inner part of my lips, whatever is left on here. I like to go a little bit on my cupid's bow and then under my lip. Build up the color. There we go. It's not as glossy as the lip oil, but it will give you that jelly lip look. And there you have it, the perfect natural makeup that can outlast school air. So I hope this video was helpful and you were able to learn a few tips on how to make your makeup last all day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, I love you.